Burton and Richard Denning. got here as quick as I could. Has, has the baby arrived yet? Oh, no, Mr. North. It's not going to happen that quickly. Oh. Uh, well, uh, may I speak to my wife? I think so. Just a moment. Oh, Jerry, you're here. Oh, never mind. Thank you. Hello, darling. How's the little mother? Nancy's doing fine. I I'm sorry I had you rush over. It turned out to be a false alarm. Oh, well, uh... Uh, do you still want me to hang around? Oh, yes, I think you'd better. Uh, Nancy's doctor said it could happen any moment. And the last word we got from her husband, his plane was grounded by weather in Cleveland. Oh, poor Tim. He must be going crazy. You know, as proxy father, I think I'll uh, try to reach him at the airport and give him the latest bullet. And then at least he'll know friends are standing by if Nancy needs him. A very worthy thought. I'll go keep Nancy company. Okay. Bye. a person-to-person -person call to Mr. Tim O'Connor. Uh, he'll be in the uh, Cleveland Airport waiting room. Would you have him paged, please? Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking. I, I can't wait. I got to get back to my shop. Uh, your, your wife's in here, too, huh? shows in your face. <laughs> you got things on your mind. <laughs> no fooling. I mean, it shows. Oh, I knew what was with you the second I laid eyes on you. <laughs> oh, my name's Bronson, Dave Bronson, uh, painting and plastering. Oh, yeah. Uh, they took men up on the third floor this morning. She's got a lot of pain. Tough. Yeah. Uh, you can't tell about a woman, though. It may be indigestion. Well, it's, uh, it's been nice, nice talking to you. <laughs> I hope you get what you want. <laughs> uh, oh, say, look, uh, take one of my cards in case you ever need any plastering done. <laughs> so long. Yeah. Now, look, Tim, don't worry about a thing. Everything's going to be okay. Yeah. I'll call you the minute anything happens. Right. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Long distance. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
They're working on him. He's still alive. That's what I'm here for. Don't worry about it. Yeah. another five minutes, we got to start another pool. Reporters are supposed to wait in the corridor. We'll notify you if anything goes wrong in there. So I thought I'd scoop those other monkeys. Maybe we can make a deal. No deal. And you can't smoke in here. You'll have to get out. Okay, Doc, I'll go. This isn't it. This is the third floor. Hello, may I help you? What's this place? A waiting room. Yeah, I know, but for what? Laboring fathers. This is the maternity floor. Is that what you're looking for? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I guess I'm kind of nervous. You have a lot of company. What's your wife's name and her room number? Reception room, third floor. Yes. Oh, oh sorry. Okay, friend. Have a snort. No, thanks. Hey, you read about this? I saw it happen. You what? Yeah, the witness. What's his name? Uh, oh, yeah, Dubronsky. I was passing his place when they got him. Why don't you tell me all about it? Well, Dubronsky was just getting into his car and wham, wham, he got it. Yeah, I guess I could finger the trigger man, as they say in these gangster pictures. I'll bet you could at that. I bet there's a reward and everything. Pictures in the paper. You'd be really living, wouldn't you? Hey, they got Dubronsky right here in this hospital. Did you know that? No kidding. Yeah, it's a fact. Mr. Harper. Yes, miss? You've another lovely little lady in your family. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Can I see my wife now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was telling us just before you came in, he has six more little girls waiting at home. That's making seven the hard way. <laughs> it's getting late. What are the visiting hours around here? Oh, don't worry about that. This floor is open for business 24 hours a day. Oh, hello, darling. How are you doing, darling? Simply great. <laughs> Say, did you know that the principal industry of the Republic of Andorra is smuggling? Really? How fascinating. <laughs> Nancy just got a wire from Tim. The weather's cleared and he's on his way again. Oh, good. Any uh, news from Tim Jr.? Uh, well, he seems to be waiting for Tim Sr., but he could change his mind any moment. 
Do you think it'd be all right if I uh, popped in for a minute and said hello to Nancy? Oh, I think so. Uh, but first, may I use the phone to call the florist? Yes. Thank you. Hello, Tony. This is Mrs. North. Uh, will you send two dozen roses to Mrs. Timothy O'Connor at Mercy Hospital? Good, thank you. Mister, I'm sorry, but I don't believe you've ever given me your name. Bronson. Dave Bronson. Thank you. And your wife's name, her first name, Mr. Bronson? Name's Min. Pam, what are you staring at that man for? Do you think you know who he is? No, Jerry, but I'm positive I know who he isn't. He is not Dave Bronson. No? Jerry, Mrs. Bronson must be 60 years old, and she's in here for an appendectomy. So? Well, that man who says he's her husband can't be more than 30. Well, as long as he's over 21, there's nothing I can do about it. Look, I was going to look in on Nancy, remember? Jerry, I don't care what you say. There's something odd going on around here. Odd? What are you talking about? It's a perfectly natural thing. Goes on all the time. That isn't what I was talking about. I mean that man who calls himself Bronson. Look, you're here to keep Nancy company. Now, why don't you just this once stop looking for mysteries, huh? I didn't look for it, Jerry. Or, or can't we go and talk to that Mr. Bronson or whatever his name oh, is? All right, now. Come on. Well, he's not here. Now, may I say a word of cheer to Nancy? <laughs> You still here? Uh, you better get upstairs. The Dabronsky story's about to break. He's gonna pull through? Hmm? One way or the other, any time now. Thanks. If there was ever a heart retread, that was it. Is he gonna be all right, Doctor? His heart's the strongest in the room, allowing for healing. How's it going to be, Doctor? The operation's successful, Doctor. Wait a minute, Orderly. Wait a minute. We decided to take him down to the maternity floor on the freight elevator. Good idea to stash that man on the maternity floor. Yeah, Chief Inspector's orders. We got a tip there'd be another attempt on Dabronsky. Hmm. for some smokes and walked around the block. It's gonna be a long night. Yeah. Mallory's the name, C.S. Wife's name, Lucy. Just brought her in. Thank you, Mr. Mallory. Hey, take it easy, chum. You'll last longer. You shoot a little casino? Helps pass the time. You know, I'm an old china hand at this racket. My third time round. Believe me, you don't want to think what's happening. That's strictly up to the docs and your wife. Join us, chum? Sure, thanks. Hey, I've seen you before someplace. Never forget a face. Well, could be. You look familiar to me, too. You don't write books or anything, do you? <laughs> I'm a publisher. Thought we might have met at one of those literary teas. Brother, you're way out in left field. <laughs> Didn't come to me. Hey, it's hot in here. Oh, that's an idea. Hey, why don't you take off your coat, chum? No, I'm all right. Oh, hi, Pam. Any news from the home front? They just took her down. It'll be any time now. Oh, uh, gentlemen, this is my wife. Oh, I know you. You've worked with our friend, Lieutenant Bill Wigan. Now, don't tell me. It's Sergeant, um, Sergeant Mallory. Sure. And you're Mr. and Mrs. North. <laughs> I never forget a face. Neither does Mallory. Are you a detective too, Mr. Um... Bronson. No. Bronson. Um... Oh, are you Min Bronson's husband? That's right. Oh, isn't that nice? I met Mrs. Bronson this morning. 
Uh, are you hoping for a girl or a boy, Mr. Bronson? A uh, boy, I guess. We, we got a girl. Same here. And double. Oh, you're not here on duty then, Sergeant. Uh, I wish I were. It'd be a lot easier on Mrs. Mallory. Oh, Mr. Mallory. Hey, coming, miss. Hey, excuse me. We want it downstairs. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Would you like to treat me to some coffee and donuts? Oh, sure, darling. Well, see you later, Mr. Bronson. What's the matter? That man is carrying a gun. Are you, are you sure? Positive. Well, maybe he's an officer. He can't be. Mallory would have known him. Well, not if he's an undercover. Mallory, I've got to find him. You go back and keep an eye on that Bronson or whatever his name is. Be careful. Be careful? Hey, Pam, wait a minute. What's the matter? No coffee? Uh, no. No coffee. Well, uh, I see. I guess it's my deal, isn't it? Let it go. I think I'll stretch my legs. Wait, I'll stroll along with you. Jumpy, aren't you? No, no, I'm, I'm feeling fine. Look at your hands. Now, how did I do that? Something he may be dangerous. Yeah, yeah, forget about it. But you don't seem to understand it. Forget him. it. Just keep away from him. Attorney Ward, please. This is Lieutenant Wagon from headquarters, nurse. I have a message for the officer on duty at room 302. Uh, oh, pardon me. Uh, one moment, please. Uh, where is the uh, man? Oh, the second door to the right down near the stairway. Thank you. Now, what was that message? He's to call his lieutenant at once. It's urgent. Thank you.
You mean nobody there called Officer Ryan at Mercy Hospital? Well, that's funny. Well, thanks very much. Hey, what are you doing down here? Well, I was looking for you. I, I got a fake telephone call, and I kind of figured... seeing my missus. What? You mean Mrs. Bronson? Yeah. But you're not Mr. Bronson. Besides, that isn't her room. You're wrong on both counts. Come on. Why don't you say hello, Mrs. Bronson? Oh, no, no that won't. She'd be happy to see you. You want to see Mrs. Bronson? Well, she's right over there. I, I don't think you want to see Mrs. Bronson. Because she's dead. Get over there. Hold it right there. All right, now get away from the door. Get away from the door. North. What happened? Did he kill Dobronsky? No, not even close. He moved Dobronsky to the sixth floor right after we got that tip from your wife. That guy just murdered a whole flock of pillows. <laughs> Say, I'm sorry I couldn't give you the lowdown sooner, Mr. North, but time was running out. He still sprung the trap before we were set for him. So long. Not for you, boy. It's just beginning. Formulas, diaper services, no sleep. Congratulations, Jim. <laughs> Thanks, Pam. How's Nancy? She's fine and sleeping like a baby. Let's let her rest a while. Huh? Oh, sure, sure. Holy smokes. How's the baby? Yeah, uh, he or it. I mean, I mean she, I should say. Follow me, Pop. <laughs> Man, Jim O'Connor, prepare to meet your offspring. Oh. <laughs> Timothy O'Connor, Jr. It's a boy! Oh, thanks, Jim. <laughs> and this is Nancy O'Connor, Jr. A little girl! Twins! <laughs> Another cigar. Thanks. And? What, 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 what's this? What, what? And this is Pamela Geraldine O'Connor. Boy, you hit the jackpot. <laughs> oh. Well, Jim, what's the matter? I think I just ran out of cigars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm John Cameron Swayze. Your help to hungry people means hope for countless men and women seeking freedom from hunger. Give through CROP, the church's community appeal. Mr. and Mrs. North is directed by George Blair. Produced by John W. Loveton. A John W. Loveton production. Starring Barbara Britton and Richard Denning.